hear that? It's pretty bad. Now, brake squeal on a Porsche is a hotly debated topic on the forums, and some amount of squeal is actually kind of normal, but lately it's gotten really excessive, and so I want to check that out. All right, what's up? Hey, we're back today with another video on the 911. And now the 911 has been a very reliable car, but the rear brake... <laughs> <laughs> now I gotta redo it! What Sorry! You, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> You can put it in the blooper. <laughs> All right, what's up? We are back today with a video about the 911. We're in the 911. It has been a super reliable car, but recently the brake squeal has gotten really, really bad. And I want to look into that and figure out what is going on. You can hear that? It's pretty bad. I think it's coming from the rears because not too long ago, I replaced the front pads and rotors. And so I'm guessing that it's probably the rears. And it's kind of weird because I have not gotten a brake wear indicator light on the dashboard at all. And I know there are brake sensors on those rear pads. You can hear that brake squeal there. Um, I know there's brake wear sensors on the rear pads, but what I suspect is happening, I think there's only a sensor on one of the two pads. Um, and I would guess that maybe the pad with the sensor is still okay and the pad without it is really low. All right, well, let's head home. We'll pull the rear wheels off and see what's going on. All right, so I was gonna make a video showing you how to change the brake pads and the rotors, but actually there's already a great video on YouTube that this other guy made that is super detailed, probably better than whatever video I would make. So I'm just gonna put a link to his video down in the description and you can go over there, follow his step-by-step -step instructions and you will be all set. I'm just gonna do a time-lapse with some music. I should demonstrate how these brake wear sensors work so I can explain why the light didn't go on on the dashboard but we were getting the squeaking sound from the brakes. So I've got a brand new brake sensor here for the Porsche and you can see there's actually this one actually has two sensors one for each of the pads. The pads obviously grip the rotor um, as you know and these little sensors if you've ever taken one off the car you can see the way it works is it actually has a little tiny piece of metal down in there and you insert this into the brake pad and then this face is facing the brake rotor and so the rotor and the pad are there and then as this plastic here wears down it will eventually the rotor will come in contact with that metal piece in there and that will trigger the light on your dashboard. All right, the brake job is done. Let's see if the brake squeal is gone. I don't hear anything. 
Do you hear anything? Seems pretty quiet to me. So there you go. If you are getting brake squeal, even if your sensor light is not on on your dashboard, the little warning light that comes on, it's still probably time to replace your brakes. So just go ahead and do it. That's it. Thanks for watching. Hope this was helpful.